What's going on guys? So today I've got a little bit of a different video for y'all. Um, I had to do some troubleshooting for a shampooer that I have when I used to detail. Uh, I haven't used my shampooer uh, in a while or my extractor, I guess you can call it. Um, so I'm going to show y'all what I did today to get the problem fixed because I couldn't find any videos online um, that were super helpful. So this is a, a random video for me because I'm pressure washing now. I know this is more of a detailing video, but I'm gonna see if maybe I can help somebody out. So let me show you what I did to fix it. So these. what I have is the Mighty uh, 8070, I believe is the model. It's been so long since I bought this thing. Um, and everything works on it, you know? Uh, I used it for, I don't know, maybe six months and uh, I let it sit in my shop. Of course I cleaned it out. Um, I thought that I had everything clean, so. I went to use it today and I was getting, I could hear the pump turning on, but I was getting no pressure out of my extractor hose, which is right here. So I tried everything, man. You know, uh, let me show y'all what some of the other videos that I watched told me to do was to take the top off, which I don't know why you would need to do that. You really don't need to uh, take the top off. Um, I can't really pull this too far forward because I've got water in here now. But if you unlatch this handle in the back, you can get down here. So without me dumping water everywhere, I went in here. There's your pump right here. That's your heating element. I took this hose off. I thought that maybe it was vapor locked, um, but it ended up it wasn't vapor locked. So I took that hose off. I took that hose off. And uh, I took compressed air and cleaned everything out. I hooked everything back up and still the thing would not work. So I was like, crap, man, you know, don't know what to do. Uh, everybody online was saying that, you know, a new pump is like 300 bucks, which I mean, isn't a, a big deal. If, uh, if you do this for a living, you know, it's just part of, it's just one of those costs or whatever. It's a tax write off at the end of the day. So um, but it wasn't the pump because the pump was running. Um, so I kind of went from, uh, I didn't explain it when I had it open, sorry. But I took those hoses off and I turned the pump on and I was getting water flow through the hoses and through the pump. I blew out all the hoses, put it all back together. Um, I turned it on without the extractor hose hooked up and I was getting water flow out of here. So I knew that it was hose related. Um, so I started thinking... That, and a good way to do that is you can just take a screwdriver or something and put it inside that fitting and push it in. There's a little fitting there. You push it in a little like uh, relief valve or whatever. You push it in, turn the pump on, and water should shoot out of there. Uh, if it does, then your problem's not in the bottom of the uh, equipment. It's going to be in the hose part. So... I started thinking, well, crap, you know, it's probably a fitting on here that's clogged up or who knows. I took this apart, uh, didn't see any debris, but the last thing, I know this from pressure washing because I uh, mess with these tips a lot right here. They can get clogged up pretty easy because these are on the bottom of our surface cleaners. So I ended up taking, this thing was on there pretty good. I couldn't get it off. Uh like with a wrench or with channel locks or anything like that. So what I did was I got some channel locks and I held this bar right here so I wouldn't crack the plastic. And then I used I used my uh, impact with impact socket, which I believe was a half inch. Yeah, I believe so, half inch. And then an extension. So I was able to get on there, take that off. And sure enough, the tip was clogged up. So another thing that i found that i forgot to mention to y'all anyways i'll finish this thought and then i'll go to that um so i cleaned this tip out all i did was take compressed air through it cleaned it out really good and hooked everything back up sure enough everything's working perfect now so real quick i'll show you another thing that i think has been an issue for a while for me because when i used to use this thing i wouldn't get great water pressure in the first place like even when i first bought it i was like eh, i mean it's good but and it cleaned really well, but I just didn't get as good of water pressure as I thought. So right here, if you take this off, oh 
shoot, I'm spilling water. If you take that fitting off, there's a little O-ring that's supposed to go in there, a little rubber O-ring. And that O-ring had been sucked into, uh, pretty much it was closing the orifice uh, that was going into right here. Or actually it was right here. So uh, the pump will suck the water, obviously, out of here. Well, that O-ring that was in there somehow got sucked into the clo the opening. And uh, so I fixed the O-ring and I turned this on. I fixed all this stuff, cleared the tip, and I'm getting great water pressure. So this video is pretty much just me telling you that before you go buy a $300 pump uh, or something like that or a, a pressure switch or whatever it is, make sure that all your hoses are clear. Um, kind of backtrack. So start in the bottom. Make sure you're getting water flow out of this. And if you are getting water flow out of that, then it's probably going to be um, this right here. So sorry that I'm out of breath, too. I was pulling the trailer in and uh, running around outside. I ran to the mailbox because it's, like, freaking cold outside. So, And I'm in a sleeveless shirt, so I'm kind of out of breath. But anyways, guys, I hope that this helps somebody out there. Um, I'm going to go clean my carpet now. So thank you all for watching. See you all later.